Hey, it's Chessie from Squidge in Ink. Um, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to register a simple three color t-shirt design without using a tri-lock system. So hopefully I can give you lots of tips and tricks. The design we're printing today is this one. It's um, from our own brand, Blind Maggot, and it's uh, available on our website, blindmaggot.co.uk. Um, we're also giving all of our squeegee viewers a massive £10 off when they use the discount code squeegee on our website. Um, they're printed in limited edition, so you better be quick. The first tip definitely has to be checking the tension on those screens. So preferably using new screens or just basically high tension mesh. And do you also want each of your screens to be of a similar tension? Um, the professional way of monitoring that is to use a Newton meter held in the middle and it'll literally read how many Newtons are being held by that mesh at that point. Um, if you're swapping in some wooden screens, a couple of old screens, a new screen, they're all gonna be laying down that ink at different angles and um, that is going to lead to some registration problems when you get on press. The next step is to double check those films and make sure that all these registration marks line up with each other. So you can literally just overlay them. I do it on my exposure unit. You could do it on a light box. Um, by checking the films at this point, you're just going to eliminate that in your troubleshooting if you were to come to have registration issues when you're on the press. So now you know that your film positives align, um, the next thing is to make sure that they're exposed in the same location on each of your screens. So some people do that by measuring to the registration marks using a T-square, but we've made this pre-printed grid that goes over the top of our screens. So what we're going to try and do is, is uh, line up the registration marks on the film to the crosshairs on our printed sheet. And we just do a couple of tiny little movements and you can make sure all four of those registration marks are hitting those crosshairs. And then we'll repeat the process with each screen. Just to recap, we're not gonna be using any like tri-lock systems or registration systems with this video. There are of course lots of different ways to do your registering. This is just a simple in-house technique that we use. As I mentioned before, this is a way to register without one of those tri-lock systems. So you would simply use something like, um, we've got double-sided PMI tape on our platen. That makes it sticky and allows um, us to hold the acetate down. So we would center the film onto the platen and that PMI tape is going to hold it in place. So we've centered that artwork to the platen using the reg marks and the edge of the platen and then the PMI tape is holding that nice and securely in place. If you don't have that tape, you could use lines of masking tape all the way around to really secure it because we're going to use the film and we're gonna line our screens up and the exposed registration marks on those screens to this registration. It's really important your press is in a neutral position before you start registering. In our case, we've got the m and Cruiser, and it has a micro-registration system up here. So in this case, we would make sure the little target that it's pointing to is set to the center, just before we start registering. Now we're gonna start loading our three screens into the press for our three color image. You just do it quite loosely to begin with, and then we're gonna register it in really tight in a second. I'm now going to make sure that my platens are in a good place for printing this image. Um, my platens can move in this kind of direction, so I want to make sure that they align with the registration marks. So if I bring my first screen down, 
I can see through the emulsion and check that they're gonna roughly line up like that. And now I can lock them in place. And because I've got four platens, I want all four platens to be the same distance from the press. Mine's got this handy little ruler already inbuilt. You need to check that yourself now. While we're talking about platens, we need to double check our off contact is the same for all of our screens and platens. The off contact or snap is basically that distance from the underside of the screen to the top of the platen. Um, you also need to bear in mind if you're printing on t-shirts, you need a, sm a smaller off contact than hoodies, which might need a little bit more of a gap. So I do that. I tend to do it by feel, so I just go around the screen and make sure it feels like the same distance. But a good measure is probably a pound coin on the platen, and that's the distance that you want to maintain all the way around the screen and for all of your screens. Now we can actually finally register those screens. So we're, what we're doing is registering, lining up these, um, the registration marks that are exposed on the screen with what we can see on the film that's attached to that platen. I'm gonna do it just by moving the screen initially. And then if it's not perfect, I can use my micro edge. So I can go ahead and tighten that one. And I can go ahead and do the same to the other two screens. Once I'm happy they're all registered and in line with each other, I need to go through and double check all of my bolts, including my platen, make sure everything's really nice and tight, especially these bits which are holding my screen and making sure that my micro ridge is all locked in. I'm now ready to put my tape on, get my ink sorted and get my heaters all running. Um, because we've got a few platens, I'm actually gonna keep the, the film on this platen stuck down. I'm gonna use a different platen and that's the one that I'm going to do my test print on so that I can always go back and cross-reference that one if I needed to. So I've just done my test print and we're really happy with it. It all looks nicely lined up. All the colours and everything look brilliant as well. So there isn't anything that I would like to change about this. However, that doesn't always go to plan. So I'm going to show you a quick way of just tweaking that registration without having to like redo any of the screens. The first thing you could try to troubleshoot something, so say if the white was off slightly, would be to reference the acetate again, which is still hopefully stuck on a platen and then you could take the tape off the underside of one of those registration marks actually do it for all registration marks on that screen you could even clean around those little areas to take the plaster off and then it would simply be a case of looking through the screen again and kind of trying to compensate for where you went wrong now the second one is is a really cool option as well with the registration tape so this is that registration tape and let me just show you how it could be used. You would flash your print and then you would lay it on top of that flash print. And you're trying to cover the whole surface. Just kind of lay it down a little bit. And then what you could do is if you're having a problem with say this white layer, we could print over the top and see what's happened. So let me just do that. So on mine, it's obviously perfectly aligned because I haven't done any little adjustments here. But you would be able to actually see, okay, look, it's slightly off there. 
I need to tweak the screen slightly. But that means that you can, you can keep doing these registration tape samples instead of ruining other shirts. Because this is just wiped clean at this point. So um, yeah, hopefully that's super helpful and will save you a few t-shirts. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Please ask any questions or give any other tips or any comments in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you can still get this shirt if it hasn't sold out already on blindmaggot.co.uk. And remember we're giving a massive £10 off for using the squeegee discount code. Okay, thanks guys, bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be cool. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> um, today we're going to be sh showing you how to. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have.